So let's get straight to it. Here in the studio to identify some of the biggest issues facing humanity and how physics is playing a role are APS President Young Ki Kim and APS CEO Jonathan Bagger. Welcome. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, Jonathan, let's get started with you. We are celebrating 125 years of APS, quite a milestone. What would you say has changed in the physics community over these years? The physics community has grown tremendously over the last 125 years. For example, the first meeting of the American Physical Society had 36 people at it. And here we have something like 12,000 visiting us here in Minneapolis. But the physics community has also grown more international, more interdisciplinary, and frankly, more relevant to the world around us. Young Ki, as president, um, what has your focus been on? And you know, how are you making sure that physicists address some of the issues of great societal importance? I think it's uh, very important to have a uh, very strong collaboration uh, with the different disciplines and with the uh, colleagues from around the world. So one of my uh, the focuses uh, this year is to strengthen uh, our relationship with uh, societies in, within the uh, U.S., but societies outside of the U.S. So John, talk us through some of the priorities for APS in 2024 and how members here can get involved. Clearly, one of the priorities this year is celebrating our 125th anniversary. <laughs> and yes. part of that is looking backwards. But a big part is also looking forwards to the important role that physics can play in the future. As part of that effort, Young Ki has led a task force refreshing our mission, mission, vision, and values. And so we can all really lean in to these values because they're increasingly important uh, in the world today. Uh, also international, the basis of international collaboration are shared values. So, Yungi, how important has the APS been to you in your career? My career? Well, I uh, studied uh, my relationship with APS in 1990 as a graduate student. Uh, came to one of these uh, APS annual meetings. So that became just my uh, moment of, with the APS. And my relationship has grown uh, until now. And you've never looked back. <laughs> I never looked back. This is an amazing uh, society. And uh, as I said, I, as a student, uh, one of my vivid uh, memory is uh, sitting next to a uh, director of a uh, Fermi Lab at that time, John Peoples, who happened to sitting next to me in the audience. <laughs> and we were talking. Uh, and, and just that moment was just uh, so thrilled and, and exciting. So, uh, you know, that's what APS uh, has been uh, providing to me and, and to our community. John, we want to wrap up with you. You mentioned that as we are celebrating 125 years, not only are we looking back, but we're looking ahead. So can you kind of paint the picture for us? What does 2025 look like for APS? It's an exciting year ahead. Yeah, the year 2025 actually marks the 100th birthday of quantum mechanics. And so yes. APS is uh, working with other physics societies around the globe to uh, celebrate that occasion uh, through events everywhere. The United Nations is on the verge of declaring this an official year, International Year of Quantum Science and Technology. And we are celebrating it by joining the March and April meetings together where the entire physics community can come together in Anaheim, California a year from now. And I hope to see everybody there. Wow, I hope we're there too. <laughs> I do too, looking forward to it. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.